Hi, my name is Samantha. Welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a tour of my craft room. Let's get into it. This video has been long awaited and I'm sorry it took me so long. I wanted to have everything like perfectly clean and organized and put where it belongs. And if you craft, you know, that's just, it's never going to happen. I try my best to have everything like organized and not necessarily clean, I'll be honest with you. Most of the time this room is a mess because I'm in here all the time. I work from home, so at the bare minimum, I'm in here 40 hours a week. But more than that, with YouTube and Etsy, um, I'm probably in here anywhere from 60 to 80 hours a week. So I spend a lot of time in this room and it gets a lot of love and a lot comes out of it. So that's good. It's better to use something rather than have it pretty in a showcase. Um, I did clean up. It is cleaner than what it normally is, but it is not perfectly organized. But you guys see that all the time in my background. So done is better than perfection. Uh, that being said, please be kind in the comments and I hope you enjoy the tour. Welcome to my craft room. It is definitely not perfect. It is not as organized as I would love it to be, but I get lots of use out of this room. I'm in here all the time because I work from home. So, you know, typically I'm sitting in the corner here working. I love that I can see out the window. I have my blinds like this so no one can see in, but I can see out, I can see the street, I can see the driveway. I love it. I feel very aware of what's going on. Uh, right by the door, I've got my fan up on some boxes so it's higher up. I've got my ring light there, which I typically set you guys right here and I'll sit in my chair facing this way with the fabric behind me. Over here I've got a bookcase as well as two little sides. The sides are like random stuff I've been collecting. I don't know if I showed you guys this but I got this glass pumpkin. I, I love pumpkins. I think they are so cute and I've put a bunch of empty spools and I actually have too many so I've got more of there. Fun fact I don't drink coffee, tea, any hot beverage like that so when people buy me mugs um, I have no clue what to do with them. I just use them to put stuff in because I don't drink liquids like that. I pretty much just drink water. But um, anyways, this is all um, paper crafting. If you don't know, I started as a paper crafter um, selling cards. I still really love making cards. I don't really spend the time making them. I would love to have time to make them. So I have so many card making supplies. If you remember, we did a video where we pared down the washi when I was trying to go through this and make it a little cleaner for you guys. Um, I found some more washi, so I did not even do all of it. And this is what I want it to be, as I want it to be my thread. And so here you can see there's two, three rows. So this is what's in here, and there may or may not be duplicates behind it. So I, I love how this is going to work out. And I have some of my sewing books here and up top, I have my clock, which is really nice. I love having the clock there. And I have um, some of my Barbie dolls. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but if you had Barbie dolls as a kid, you're not allowed to take them out of the box. So none of mine have been taken out of the box. And even with like the Barbie movie, which I absolutely loved, those are not coming out of the boxes. So these two bookcases here, that one and this one, if you guys remember last December, was it? I bought $2,000 worth of cotton flannel for towels and the blanket project, which I still have not done. And I did not know how to store them in the office without them just taking up so much room. So I got these two additional bookcases. I have this one facing this way and then this one this way because when we do have guests over, our guest room only has a twin bed. So to be able to take all this stuff out of the middle and move this desk forward, I can have another guest stay in this room but I worry about the bookcases falling. So at least in this case, it would fall over this way and not like everything fall onto the person. These are more secure. These are better Ikea bookcases. This is just a cheap Walmart one. So I don't trust it to not fall. It's not fallen, but that's why that one's like off to the side like that. And I've been working on trimming down the cotton flannel so that I can use the towels and get them made and also like so they're easier to store like you can see I haven't done these ones yet so I and I have on my cart here I have my two crickets I have a cricket maker and a cricket um explorer uh, this is just trash so and then I have my serger and then I have my bag for shows and you can see here so this whole shelf became empty from cutting the towels 
and um, I was able to pare it down some more. So that's what's going on there. Typically my sewing machine is like out on the table so I can sew and do stuff. If not, it lives over on this cart with my printer. That printer is just black and white, super easy. I love it. I have a walking pad in my office. I love this thing so much. Um, I try to walk like 30 minutes in the morning before work and then um, my job is I'm on call with um, customers and so in between customers I can get different, I can get different, I can walk between like maybe a minute, maybe two minutes, but it's nice to get like a couple steps in, 50 to 200 steps. Um, I can get in to have a little bit extra steps. This guy here, this bin is waiting for the towels to be cut up. This is all fabric that like projects I finished or am working on and just like additional fabric because um, the shelves are full. So I don't have space for all of the fabric. Um, my ironing board, when it's not out, I'll put it up against the wall over there or put it in the laundry room. Um, also, I'll use my cutting table sometimes. I'll just put my wool mat up on the cutting table. Um, one thing I love about these tables that I don't really care about is I got them from Ikea um, as in the as is section. If you haven't been to the as is, as is section, I would highly recommend. Things are on sale because they're not perfect. So when I bought, I have two of these tables. When I bought them, they were all scratched up and at a huge discount, even with telescoping legs that I don't care really what happens to them. I mean, I'm not trying to destroy them, but they're perfect for crafting. So you can tell here I was ironing with my wool pad on here and now it's all bubbly, but whatever. It's a crafting table. It's not meant to be perfect. And then this is another Ikea table with a support leg in the middle and it's got the two Alex drawers. This here is a bunch of additional fabric. If you know the video that this fabric is from, link it for me down below. I think this was like two years ago, all this fabric. I need to make the things that this is cut to be. And then back here, we've got three different bins um, for the uh, scrap fabrics, whether it's like big enough to make more stuff or if it's just like trash fabric. There's a vent. So that's why I have like, oh, there's something over there. Oh, I didn't even know that was there. That's one of those eggs I made during the Easter egg video. But um, I typically like put my feet up here when I'm working. And uh, here is, this is scraps that I've been loading into this pillow. And then these are tablecloths for shows. And this is more tablecloths for shows because these are the four foot. These are six foot as well as I have green ones. So those also need to be hemmed. That's a video in the works. Over here, I've got all my videos in the works right now. So, yep, the pants are messed up. Gotta redo them. Uh, doing these placemats as well as embroidering these shirts. And we're gonna do the Kleenexes. So, I'm excited. This shelf here um, changes out because I, with the re with a reusable, with the jar openers I've been working on. Here, I've got patterns that hold drawers patterns. And then this is. I was gonna say accessories. I don't think that's the word I'm looking for. Like hardware and different stuff, elastic, extra thread. Notions, that's the word, extra notions. This drawer is notions as well. This drawer is extra fabric. The little cone things fell because I'm a hoarder so I can't get rid of anything. So these are my empty uh, serger threads let me know what I could do with those in the comments down below like they're not as pretty they don't look cute like the empty ones over here so I don't know what to do with them here's all my serger thread I find it easiest just to keep it all in this bucket crap yep um I just keep it all in this bucket it's from Ikea and it's easy for me to do it this way and then we got fabric 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 um these are my travel bags I absolutely Love these bags. I think I did a whole video on them. This is just extra stuff and empty containers. I keep all my rulers right here. These are all my smaller rulers. My big rulers are down here. Then this stack of stuff right here is all um, for craft shows. So all my inventory is up here. And then I have like my displays and in the box there's more displays and there's more product in this bin. Um, like this bin matches that bin so they stack nicely but it's down here because I need to do the towels and then like I said this stack is all of the 
um, cotton flannel. It goes all the way down. Printer, and then I've got um, different um, different things in here for paper crafting or shipping stuff or you know zippers or like crafts that I've wanted to do. Like these are these little wooden circles, and these are magnets to go on it, and you can like make magnets for the fridge. So I have all these big ideas and not enough time to do them all. So let me move this moving walking pad and I can show you the closet. The walking pad actually has wheels on the front, which is really nice. Like you just lift it up from the bottom here and you can like roll it. It doesn't work well when you're trying to go this way, but like this way would be nice. And you can put the arm down so you could put it under a standing desk, but I can't do it with this because these legs, you have to manually crank it up and it's such a pain. So it's not worth it. So here's the closet. Oh, stuff has fallen. So this is mostly like scraps and my bucket of interfacing. There's more fabric up there. It's like all fleece or like these two I think are from like one of my last hauls. This is another bolt of interfacing, fusible fleece. Oh, that's not fusible fleece, this one. Fusible fleece that I haven't opened yet because I love to buy everything in advance so I have plenty. Um, just hangers. This is all the um, cotton flannel extra. Um, remnants because I have that separated extra thread like this is extra surging thread these are the um scrap boxes of fabric in the how do you say that Ferrero Rocher Rocher this is the jean scraps oh my goodness I have not finished the jean project this fabric I could not even tell you what size these are cut to maybe napkins I'm not really sure I like these little project bags and I try to keep things like together. So this is leftover towel remnants. This is from um, the face face cloth um, video I did. So, and then these are like um, kind of like silky satiny fabrics. There's more scrap containers over there. So, you know, I just, I have a million ideas, a million projects I like to do. And I got to do this thing called work. So I don't have enough time to do it, but yeah something that caught my attention over here that i should bring oh a light turned on nice um oh that's another project i wanted to do oh here's more of the jeans but this project down here i never showed you guys what i did i don't think with this like south park and um beavis and butthead fabric I never showed you guys the end product of that and I never even finished it. This is again, a half finished project. So this closet is like my work in progress and then, you know, shut the door, don't look at it. <laughs> but I should pull this out and show you guys what I made with this. Let me know if you know what video this is from in the comments down below. I wanted to circle back to my cutting station. So this is what I used to have as my filming. This circle, or what is it called? A can you name the name of it? Ring light. Ring light is supposed to be on here, but like the attachment part of where it goes in got all messed up and I had it like all taped down. And so I got a new one, that tripod one, but I use this, it's attached to the table. Uh, and so I use this for one, it's just nice for cutting. Like I'll turn it on and I have better light. And then if I'm filming something for you guys on the cutting surface, then I use this arm. So I don't really use the arm that much, but I love having this additional light right here. And it's something that I already have that I can still use now that I've got it like MacGyvered on there. So just because it's not pretty doesn't mean it doesn't work. And then I love this little, um, what's it called? Like a little Lazy Susan. I have an organizer in it for all of my like go-to cutting supplies. This is an empty tissue box. Um, empty tissue boxes are literally my favorite thing to organize with. I love organizing with empty tissue boxes. These ones, for example, you just cut the corners here and you cut the slip off and then you have a tissue container. Like I have all my containers right here. Um, that's not cut. Uh, this one maybe? Of course these aren't cut, but, um, I, I love organizing with empty tissue containers and I have all my empty organization things in here because things change and you have to organize in different ways. This is what I was trying to explain. I, I found one as soon as I un, uh, like shut off the video, but here, this is what I mean. And they're just awesome for organizing. I also meant to show you power. So I have an extension cord right here that is pretty much just meant for my sewing. I love that it has these USB ports as well as um, 
all of the regular plugs. And so I can plug my sewing machine right in here as well as my serger. And I love that I have cords and power just for my sewing. And then up here, I have my other um, surge protector again with the USBs because when I place my tripod ring light right here, it is hooked up by a, where's that? By a USB. So I just plug them in right here and it works perfect. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is there anything that you want to see in more detail? Is there anything that an organization system I have in place or uh, a craft item that you'd like to see more of or something else you want to know, know more about me? Let me know in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.